know, Kevin, um, you know, there's there's two presentations of many that you've given to the group over the years that that uh, jump out in my mind. Uh, one was you helped us uh, consider this crazy notion of using computers <laughs> as a as a way of uh, managing uh, the laundromat. I think that was in '95. Um, but I also remember a pre presentation you gave that had this awesome. A uh, caddy that you had built out that had all the cleaning uh, uh, tools and and other things that you needed uh, to 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 efficiently get through those stores. But um, but that leads me to my question for you: is which you know it's sort of systems, right? You you've got that engineering uh, uh, mindset, and and so I wonder if you could talk to us about what you see as some of the key systems, uh, operational systems that you found to be. Uh, an important part of the recipe for success in, in running these stores uh, over the years. Are you talking about tech systems, Brian? Or uh, well, I mean, just like kind of the day-to-day -day operational systems. Obviously, you need to get this, you know, have the store open and close. Uh, in some cases, uh, you need to get the store clean. Uh, you need to be able to handle customer issues. So, uh, as the uh, clipboards behind you betray, you've got systems <laughs> set up for just about everything. We, we have found things that work for us over the years, and we've tried to stress organization in our back room areas, for instance. I suppose, as you mentioned, we, we like to have the same setup in each store with nine locations. You don't want to have to remember nine different setups. So again, we, uh, we try to keep things organized behind the scenes and clean behind the scenes and uh, working for our part-time attendants meaning the part-time cleaners, and, uh, and for us as we come and go a couple of times a week. Uh, computers certainly have made a difference. Card systems uh, at the top of the list, certainly. Um, and after that, we've uh, got a good uh, tracking system, paper trail for our two trips out a week. And uh, we do a little extra with our card system data that again helps us uh, know what's going on in the stores and uh, maybe anticipate what we're going to need when we make a, a visit out so we minimize the time that we have to spend at a location and move on to the next one. So I love that. So that's talking about how to you know set up your cleaners for success, right? Giving them you know, the checklists and, and the uh, systems that they're following, uh, being able to set things up effectively so, you know, uh, Again, if you're being inefficient with collections and you've got nine stores, that's all you're going to be doing, <laughs> right? So, you know, so leveraging uh, that is really important. So, uh, Casey, uh, I know you've got some great, you know, systems in place that you can share, and I, I know that those have uh, certainly evolved <laughs> since 1994. So, what, <laughs> what can you share with the group here about uh, kind of those operational systems for success? Um, a few things. One, we like I said, all of our stores are 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. We have remote, or we just have it so it automatically opens, automatically locks every day. We don't have to depend on someone to do that with a key. That way, if there's someone sick, someone's, it's a blizzard out, whatever, it doesn't matter. They just unlock and lock automatically. Um, we, we try to do stuff as, as automated as we can for, for those type of things. Um, also all of our, I mean, just another small thing, but all of our doors uh, to the cleaning rooms, changer rooms, even outside, um, all have a keypad. So um, anytime we need to have an HVAC or the city needs to come and put in a new water meter, whatever it is, we don't have to be at the location, which for some people, if they're closer, but are, are having locations 150 miles apart from furthest, it's, it just, it helps a lot. Um, our cleaning people, we're pretty flexible with. Um, we give them the opportunity to clean whenever they want during the day. Um, they have free reign to do it for whether they, before we open, during the middle of the day, after we close. Um, and then sometimes uh, most of our stores, we actually have someone else or, or them come through in the middle of the day or, or when they're not cleaning. Um, in like a 12 hour span they come in and we just have them do a walk through mm -hmm. pick up dryer sheets check for full garbages um 
check the bathroom, just small things like that. And then recently, uh, we've enjoyed the um, in the past year and a half the the card systems. So that looks sounds like Kevin has greater yeah. experience with, but we've yeah. been enjoying them. Um, so we have uh, five of the nine locations for installing a sixth one next week, um, a seventh one in August, and then uh, the last two stars are kind of depending on if it'll be this fall or next spring. Okay. So just a quick follow-up, Casey. So um, uh, how would you describe uh, sort of your you know, systems for collections? Because again, you've got not just the multiple locations, but you've got a lot of real estate in between <laughs> yeah, uh, to we, cover. We kind of have it divided into, we can, I, I don't want to say routes, but there's kind of three clusters sure. of stores. It's a north, south, and a, a middle route. Um, we we do we're at every store three times a week minimum. Whether that be whether they're a coin store or a card store, even if they're a card store, we're there at least three times a week. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that answers about the collections. Yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. definitely collections. Coins is the in a coin store, that's the one of the hardest parts about the store. Um, just making sure with coin jams and things like that. But that's just been our experience with it. 